Our first job, as I've said before, is to make sure that everyone is safe. A big part of the job over the past 48 hours has been to help the 25,000 Fort McMurray residents who fled north. We've made good progress. Approximately 12,000 people were evacuated by air over the past two days. In the past 24 hours, over 7,000 more were able to drive down Highway 63 in approximately 2,000 vehicles. Our goal is to have everyone evacuated to the south by the end of the day today. Highway 63 is open and traffic is slow moving because of the dense smoke. Firefighting continues in Fort McMurray. We had a good day yesterday in terms of the heroic work going on to save as much of the city as possible. Firefighters in the city kept working to save the downtown and as much of the residential neighbourhoods as possible. We held the line for a second day. I know the people of Fort McMurray want to get back into their homes as quickly as possible. And I am hoping we'll be able to give you a sense of when you can go home shortly. But as I've said before, the return won't be in coming days. Once the immediate fire damage is completed, there will be an enormous amount of work to do to make the city safe and habitable. The gas has been turned off, the power grid has been damaged, and large portions of the city don't have power right now. The water is not currently drinkable. There are no stores open. There's a great deal of hazardous material to be cleaned up and many other things to be done before the city is safe for families to go home. We are working on all of these issues right now. Yesterday, Mayor Iverson and I visited the reception center at Northlands in Edmonton. I can't express how impressed I was by the staff and the volunteers who are working there and in our nine other reception centers across Alberta. I met families who had picked up and evacuated on a few hours notice, who are understandably worried and anxious about what is going to happen next, about their children's schooling, about their belongings. And I know that both the Mayor and I left that visit more determined than ever to do our very best for the people of Fort McMurray. We are working to get people safe, then to make the city safe and to work out a plan for return, then to ensure that that community functions at the same high level that it already always has, and then to get that community rebuilt. I know everyone involved will do everything we can to match the dedication and the commitment we've seen this week from our firefighters our police and our other first responders, all of whom continue to have tremendous gratitude of every Albertan and every Canadian.